Hi everyone, this is Ram from Informatica Global Customer Support Team. In this video, we will see the use of MD5 function in Power Center. The agenda of this video is what is MD5 function, why we need to use MD5 function, followed by a quick demo. Now, what is MD5 function? MD5 function is nothing but a message digest by function. This was created by Ronald Rivers, for who is a founder of RSA Data Security LLC. And he is also a professor at Massachusetts Institute of Technology. He designed MD5 in 1991 as an improvement to a prior MD algorithm, which is MD4. This is his third message digest algorithm. And previously, he has created MD2, MD4, MD5. MD2 only supports 8-bit machines. MD4 and MD5 supports 32-bit machines as well. Now, between MD4 and MD5, MD5 provides more data security. So that's why most of the applications uses MD5 function. Now, it uses MD5 message digest algorithm 5, which is a hash algorithm. So that's why we call message digest function as a hash algorithm as well. Now, MD5 function will take a string as an input and it will return a 32 character hexadecimal value as an output. Hexadecimal value is nothing but 16 characters it will, it will contain. For 0 to 9 and remaining we represent as a to f none if you provide null value to the md5 function it will return null as an output now why we need to use an md5 function for basically we use in power center for the comparison to make the comparison easy now how we will make the comparison easy for example if we see the scenario in a c2 type 2 mapping now a c2 type 2 will say if you are getting a row from the source which is already present in the target, then simply neglect the source record. That is the use of a CD type 2 mapping. Now, if you want to compare the target data, the source data, we need to have a one medium. So, if you want to have that medium, we need to use an MD5 function. So, MD5 function will simply generate a 32 bit hexadecimal value for the target record and also it will simply generate a 32 bit hexadecimal value for the source record now if we compare those two hexadecimal values if the two hexadecimal values are equal then we can simply say okay these two values are equal so that's why we simply neglect the source record if these two hexadecimal values are unequal then we can simply load the source record into the target now, why we need to use MD5 here, if we use, if we don't use MD5, if we have, for example, if the target has 10 columns, if we want to compare those target values with the source 10 columns, which is a hectic task, but here MD5 function, it will simply generate a 32 bit hash value, hexadecimal value, which makes the comparison very easy. Now, if you see the example here, for example, if you apply the scenario of a CD type 2 mapping here, now in the input, we are John Smith agrees to pay $500 per month for a rent. Consider this is our target record. We have uh, this one in the target. Now, if we want to load, John Smith agrees to pay $5,000. Here, if you see the $5,000 per month for rent. Now, consider this is the source that we are getting. This is the target which we have. Now, if you want to compare this target with the source record, that means if you want to compare, it will take a lot of time because we need to compare each and every character. So, simply without comparing like this, if we use an MD5 hash algorithm on the target data, first I am using MD5 function on the target data, now it will become a 32 bit hexadecimal value. Now, if you uh, apply on the source data, then it will become like this p6 here this is an hexadecimal value now if we see if we compare these two for example target data is equal to source data if you put this logic then if both if you see here these both are not same then that means we can simply load the source record into the target this is how we need to develop our residue type 2 mapping logic now if you are getting the same for example if you are using 500 here then we'll get the same hash value here uh, hexadecimal value here so that if we compare this then we can get to know okay these two target and source are same then we'll simply reject the source that is how we need to develop our residue type 2 mapping now let's start with a quick demo 
now i logged in to my designer now i have developed a simple mapping if you see here the source i am taking a customer id customer name customer salary and it which is a flat file and i am loading that into the oracle database now i have taken here the three columns uh, which is same as the source and the fourth column which i am taking as md5 underscore output as another column now this is my mapping if you see i am generating and now in this mapping what i am trying to achieve is i am generating the output of md5 function so you can see how the md5 function generates output so that you can use the same logic in order to develop your scd type 1 and type 2 mappings this will help you now i have taken the source qualifier here and if you see the expression i passed all the ports into the expression now here i developed md5 function logic now if you see md5 function md5 function is already an inbuilt function if you see on the left side this is md5 so md5 of now i have written two care of customer id why i have written two care means as i already mentioned in the ppt md5 function will take character as an input that is string as an input but here customer id is a decimal so that's why i am converting into two care of customer id and i am keeping an concatenation operator and customer name i am not converting to care because customer name is already a string so that's why i am not using any two care now customer salary is a decimal here so that's why i am using two care now i am passing a string to the md5 function now this md5 function will generate a 32 bit hexadecimal value to this okay let me close and i am linked to the target now let me run the mapping now before running the mapping let me show you the source data which i am passing now if you see this is the source data which i am passing i am passing customer id customer name customer side these are the column names and i am passing 1 ram 1000 and 2 comma ash comma 2000 these are the two records that i am passing from the source now let us see how we how md5 function will generate these hash values now let me log into my workflow manager now i have created a simple session so in the mapping tab if you see the source source the present working directory is home smsc and the source file name which is customer cust underscore vad dot txt and the target connection i have given us oracle correction okay now here you need to give the oracle connection now let me edit now here i have given the oracle connection username password the connection string and the name now i am using the same into the my target and i have created a workflow now let us run the workflow and let us see the output first let me validate and save let me start workflow now if you see the session is running let us run the get session log and if we can go to down and let's see now if you see the two records here got loaded from the source into the target now let me show you the target data now if you see this is my target table and uh, let me select on that now if you see md5 underscore output now based on the customer id customer name customer salary this is the hexadecimal value which you got generated now for the second record to ash 2000 this is the hexadecimal value which got generated from the md5 now let us see the length of this select length of md5 underscore output column from customer underscore vad underscore tgt now if you see the, the length is 32 as i mentioned in the ppt it will generate a 32 bit hexadecimal output now in this way you can develop your own logic in the md5 function okay now you can use this for example we consider this is already in the target now these two records are already in the target now if you want to develop an md uh, st2 type 2 mapping now if you are getting a new record then you can simply load the record into the target if you compare using this now if you are getting the same record to ash 2000 for example you are getting the same record now by using this md5 function if you generate an md5 function on this record and also on the source record now if both are same then you can simply the source uh, neglect the source record that is the use of md5 function and you can apply the same in std type 2 mappings as well now the video demo got completed now for your references you can search for search.informatica.com which is a knowledge base and you can also see our youtube channel info support now 
we would love to hear from you you are you can give your valuable feedback at support videos at the rate informatica.com or at our twitter channel infosupport thank you thank you for watching this video